Right, so hello and welcome to another Ross Dillon video where today we're going to be looking at this, which is a £40 phone you can get off Amazon, the High Rich P42. Um, so let's start with an unboxing. So let's start by seeing what you actually get out of the box of a £40 phone. So first of all, we want to slide the uh, box out. We can then remove the lid. And first of all, we're presented with the phone itself. which I went with the uh, very interesting color of pink. I mean, first impressions it is very plastic, but for now we shall set that aside. Lifting the piece of cardboard below, we find we get some accessories. We do get a AC adapter, although actually looking at the bottom of this, it's only a one amp charger, so it won't be very quick at charging. We've then got what I will assume is micro USB there. Some very cheap looking 3.5 millimeter earphones, but they are squishy tips, so you know, nice they're included. Very little bit of literature, single page there. We've got its battery, lithium ion, and this is a 2800 milliamp battery, which is interesting because I think on the outside of the box it's registered differently. Uh, there is a screen protector included in the case, although only a plastic one, again, nice it's included. Although actually looking at this, it's come creased, so I doubt I'll be using that because I don't think it's gonna go on very well like that. Uh, and finally in the box we have a, just a clear silicon case, which is actually, it's actually all right for uh, just a freebie in the box there. So initial thoughts after actually unboxing the phone is it is very cheap feeling. The back is a very, very shiny fingerprint magnet. Um, it is complete plastic build and like really light as well. Uh, for the size of the phone, it is oddly light almost. Uh, looking around uh, the actual phone itself, we can see complete plastic build. Uh, the screen's plastic as well. Uh, the back and sides are all plastic. Um, something I thought was quite odd is looking around the phone, we can see on the bottom we have the speaker vents uh, with a gap for a charger, but the charger is actually on the top along with the headphone jack, uh, although a headphone jack is always quite a nice perk these days, um, so at least we've still got one of those on the top there. Uh, having used the phone a little bit, it is really, really um, quite basic. Um, I couldn't get any sort of quite a few modern day apps, so Instagram I couldn't get, Twitter I couldn't get. Uh, Snapchat I couldn't get. Um, you could get a light version of Facebook, um, which did work, uh, just about. Um, I, I was able to do a little bit of web browsing, I was able to watch YouTube videos, and the screen and the speaker isn't bad for the money. Um, it says it's a full HD screen, but I'm kind of doubting whether that's actually true. Um, but overall, actually pleasantly pleased with being able to do very basic tasks. Um, would I actually buy one? It depends on what you're looking for, really. Um, if you're looking for a phone and you need something quick, uh, you can get it Amazon Prime, next day delivery, at uh, 40 pounds, it does the basics. You can call, text, web browse, watch videos, sort of the very basic necessities. Um, I didn't even try gaming on this, um, given how clunky the experience was trying to load videos and trying to browse the web. I didn't think it was even worth downloading any games. Uh, and the App Store does seem quite limited, although it says it's Android 6. I think it's some weird cut down version because um, the Play Store was really, really lacking in a lot of um, manners. I didn't seem to be able to get many apps at all. However, one perk I did sort of find with the phone is the battery life seems oddly good. I was having a little play around last night uh, and put it down and it's now the next evening uh, and it barely lost a percent or two in that day on standby, which by today's standard is pretty decent. Uh, if you're looking for some decent battery life then thumbs up on that point. Um, but other than that it is really what you'd expect for £40 for a phone on Amazon. Um, if we look on the back of the phone we can see we do actually have, see on the back it actually looks quite promising with the camera setup there. But as we can see that is a knockoff spelling of Leica um, or LCE. -er. 
as they've spelt it. And what I did notice is although there are a lot of cutouts for lenses, um, all of them are dummy except for the one. Um, so there is only one camera, there's no zoom or anything like that. Um, they're just there for show really. Um, and the flash, I did have a go at using the torch, that is just hopeless. Um, if you're using it late at night, it would be really grainy. So the phone is actually a dual SIM phone, which seems to be quite common among uh, cheap smartphones online. Um, the full size SIM, um, so if you're kind of used to your normal micro sizes and nano sizes, you're going to need a, um, a full size, like the, well, the full size SIM card. Um, and you access that by taking the back off and removing the battery which is actually quite a nice feature being able to remove a battery I can't remember the last phone I had where you could do that um, it's been a gone feature for many phones for a long time overall I think the um, P42 is an okay phone if you're looking at just starting out as a with a smartphone I think if you want to get your kid a smartphone um, it'd be a good starting point for them you know it works yes you can, you can take pictures you can it's it is limited but you can do sort of the very basic functions if they wanted something a bit more than just a flip phone or you know your basic pay as you go phone uh, and they're all sort of in that sort of low end of the market um, I don't know how this will last long term uh, I've only been using it for the last week I did experiment around using it as my phone um, but again I'm only doing that with a week so I can't say about long term durability but I do think as a first phone it would make a great little starting point for someone and it does come in a nice range of colours as well especially that uh, pink that I've uh, shown you there, no point being boring um, but other than that, that is all I've got to say about the P42 phone from Hirich off Amazon uh, a £40 smartphone which is reasonable we'll go with reasonable so thank you for watching if you liked this video please do like it if you disliked it then still dislike it uh, leave me any comments you have below and I'll try and answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.